All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be reading a book uh, with Vincent Van Gogh in it, and uh, it's based on color. And uh, what you're gonna need for this project is a pencil, some crayons, and a blank sheet of paper. It can be printer paper or a sketchbook, doesn't matter to me. And then we'll get started from there. So anyways, I'm Mr. Mill, welcome to the Dry Mill. All right, Vincent paints his house by Ted Arnold. All right, time to paint the house. <laughs> He's cute. Hmm, said Vincent. Vincent could not decide what color to use. His paint palette, his box of paints, and his brushes. Maybe I'll just paint it white, said Vincent. It'll look nice. As you can see, he's visualizing it. White is nice, said Vincent. Stop, said the spider. This is my house, and I like red. Red is nice, said Vincent. Stop, said the caterpillar. This is my house, and I like yellow. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, I did. <laughs> I missed the different types of colors of uh, the certain colors, so. White, there's snow, ivory, titanium, and cream. And in red, there's rose, crimson, scarlet, and vermilion. I knew that, and it looks like they colored it properly as well, but uh, I didn't notice it until now, so sorry about that. So that's kind of cool. So the white tints representing what they are, and then the red tints representing what they are as well. All right, moving on, and I'm assuming we're gonna see some yellows. Yellow is nice, said Vincent. Canary, amber, lemon, and ochre. Pretty cool. Stop, said the beetle. This is my house. I like purple. Let's see what kind of purples there are. Purple is nice, said Vincent. There's grape, violet, manganese, and lavender. I like manganese. looks really cool. Stop, said the bird. This is my house, and I like blue. How do all these animals get paintbrushes? <laughs> blue is nice, said Vincent. There's royal, ultramarine, cyan and cerulean stop said the butterfly this is my house and i like orange <laughs> even a butterfly has a paintbrush oh yeah 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 orange is nice said vincent there's henna cadmium tangerine and peach stop said the snake this is my house and i like green <laughs> oh, poor vincent green is nice said vincent there's Viridian, Olive, Emerald, and Chartreuse. Stop, said the mouse. This is my house, and I like brown. Brown is nice, said Vincent. There's Sepia, Sienna, Umber, and Bronze. I paint with all of those a lot. Stop, said the bat. This is my house, and I like black. Black is nice, said Vincent. There's Ebony, Pitch, Coal, and Jet. But actually, this is my house. And I like all the colors. Everyone was happy. The end. Well, that was a good story. I did not expect it to be about colors. But um, at least we got to know some new colors. Uh, let's see if we can do something project related about that. So let's get going. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that book on different types of color. I hope it was inspiring and also um, helped you guys understand different types of words used for color and how they differ. So what we're gonna do today is I got, uh, I think it's a 72 pack. I'm not quite sure. No, this has to be 52 of crayons. And you wanna make sure you have colors that have a wide range. If you don't, not a big deal, it'll still work. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to draw a potted vase with a variety of flowers using our knowledge of what we just read from the book. So anyways, I don't have the book right now, but uh, I returned it already from the, to the library. But um, we're going to try our best to try to make sure this lesson works. So first of all, we need uh, where to put the pot. So what I'm going to draw is just kind of like a flat surface where the potted vase could sit. And you want to draw really lightly so you can erase the middle later. And then what I'm going to draw is kind of like a nice line on the top and then a smaller line or a shorter line in the bottom. So here comes the easy part is that you're going to go from here. You're going to kind of like curve up and then around and then you're going to do the exact opposite on the other side. 
Ta-da, and there, you got a vase. Now, all I'm gonna do now is erase that middle line. And then if you wanna add patterns or anything like that onto the vase, you're allowed to. Um, you can do stripes, you can do polka dots, you can do even miniature flowers on them. I'm gonna leave mine blank for now, but my main focus is the flower itself. So you guys all know how to draw flowers. Um, I'm gonna draw you guys, I'm gonna show you guys a couple variety of different ways so you guys are more um, fluent in drawing flowers. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys a couple different ways. So here's one way. It's kind of like a sunflower, so you just draw a bigger circle, but then with tinier petals. That's an easy way, right? You guys can do that. That's super easy. All right, just like that. Another way to draw a flower is with a smaller circle. And then with that smaller circle, you draw bigger petals, just like this. Now for me, I might run into my vase, which is, oh, never mind, I just missed it. <laughs> but if you do run into your vase, you just gotta erase the, the vase where you hit it. So that's the second different flower. So another flower I've seen people do, is kind of draw like a teardrop. And then you kind of draw teardrops behind that teardrop side by side. If you want to draw little triangles right here and there, you can. Ta-da! And I do have one more flower to show you guys. It's a little bit easier. All you got to do is draw a sideways spiral like this. And then just draw a cup underneath. Let's draw a line right here, line right there, and line right there. That way, they're all ending. Ta-da! All done. Now all I gotta do is add some leaves. So I'm gonna add a leaf right here, maybe. Maybe add a leaf right here. I can erase that part of the pot, or the vase. Maybe add a leaf right here, maybe? Might be good over here. It's nice and empty. Maybe a leaf right here. And maybe one more over here. Ta-da! And then what are we missing? We're missing stems. So let's add a couple. Maybe one right here. One connected to this one. A nice thick one connected to this one. I might as well extend that leaf right there. And then one going straight down. Just like that. And this kind of leaf is kind of out of nowhere. So I'm going to try to make sure it's connected somehow. There you go. It looks weird, but it'll work. All right, now we have everything drawn out. Uh, the pencil is there if you still need it, um, but otherwise I'm gonna put my pencil away. All right, now we learned about the different colors, but a good thing about Crayola is that they have the crayons names next to them and um, they're pretty accurate. So I'm just gonna take all the greens I have and then I'm gonna use all the greens I want. So for you guys that didn't know, some people just draw like the stems as a plain green. Try to use more than three. And then let's see how your project looks after that. So I'm gonna use, this one's called forest green. It's got like a darker green. Ooh, that was pretty. I'm just gonna put in random spots on my stems. Maybe one right there. I'm gonna put that away. Let's try a different green. Why don't I try this one? This one's called yellow green. So it's a mixture of yellow and green. Oh, that's very vibrant and bright. I like that. That's a nice green, guys. All right, I'm gonna put that away. All right, I have two more greens. I got one that's called Cranny Smith Apple and green. So I think I'm gonna use both of these. I'm gonna use green just for some, uh, the general part of the leaf. Just like this. I'm going to use the other green to color some of the outlines of what is already green. So maybe I'll add this Granny Smith apple maybe to the bottoms of them. Just like that. And then anywhere I missed that still needs to be green. So a little bit inside the stems kind of. I missed as well. All right, just from looking at this picture, it already looks 10 times better. So let's do the exact same technique using all the flowers. So maybe one could be all different types of reds, one could be all different types of blues, one can be all different types of purples, and then decorate anything else any way you want. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna just color the rest of it on my own, and then I'm gonna speed up the video, and I'll see you guys at the end.
All right. Um, I just finished off. I think it looks pretty darn good. So I hope you guys uh, like this activity. Um, try to use uh, multiple of different colors of that same color um, as you can, if that makes sense to you. Uh, but I promise to you guys, if you guys just use more color of that same family and that same type of flower, your flowers will look just as good as mine. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.